Doctors have known since the early 19th century that our brain has electrical activity. As we find out in today's Health Matters, doctors are studying brain waves to diagnose patients with neurological conditions. Neurodiagnostic testing helps doctors diagnose many disorders of the brain, nerves, and spinal cord. One of these tests include an electroencephalogram, or EEG. What the electroencephalograms, we are recording the electrical activity of the brain. Um, patients that have uh, seizures, epilepsy, um, possible brain tumors, um, strokes, um, anything um, with that diagnosis, that these are the procedures that will diagnose that. Unlike the EEG, which measures brain activity by placing electrodes over multiple areas of the head, one test measures signals by placing electrodes over different areas of the body. What we do is we um, evoke um, a electrical current to a nerve, whether it be in the leg or the arm, and we get um, basically the brain waves um, at each point that we have applied electrodes. Based on the findings, doctors are able to determine an accurate diagnosis to begin treatment immediately. It's like pieces to a puzzle. Um, this is a piece to the puzzle for the physician um, to help with the treatment plan. Many neurological conditions discovered with these advanced methods of testings include multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, and cerebral palsy. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. Neurodiagnostic tests are able to evaluate patients of all ages.